So mom steps in as moms always do. Absolutely. Right. So Alicia stepping in was to really just completely absolve every business agreement that they had with one another. In Alicia's words, as far as she is concerned, that is her bike now. Okay, and does she have the bike? She does. Uh, the bike is still, yeah, the bike's still at her house. Okay, Mr. Baker, did your sister step in in order to kind of try to preserve this relationship? So what she said is accurate to the point of she was there kind of for the conversation because it happened at the hospital where my sister said, hey, you guys have been fighting for months. I'm just going to help out and start making some payments. That's when I had to have the conversation with her. Like, no, it's his responsibility. He'll heal in a few months. We can figure it out after that. And also, in the very beginning, he'd wrecked the bike. He's buying new parts and buying this and that for the bike. And I'm like, you can still ride the bike, but you're going to go buy that stuff instead of making payments to me? So that's where the dispute was, of course. All right, so what this is causing me to wonder, Mr. Bustamante, if you have an excellent job, your union, you are, you're able to afford a new vehicle, why was this loan extended to be able to get the bike in the first place? Yeah. I'm sorry. No, 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 go ahead. That's okay. Uh, so we had moved into our apartment. Um, we've been together three years now. Lawrence was working at another great paying job. He left that. There was a very brief lapse of employment. Okay. I actually encouraged Lawrence because we started establishing his credit to get a loan for this bike to build his credit. A $2,700 loan isn't a problem. We would be able to establish credit. Make you wanted him to get like an official like bank loan. Yes. Rather than was, an uncle loan. I run all of our financials fine tooth comb. We stayed afloat through the shooting, him being out of work. Okay. So this was impulsive. And as far as his vehicles go, his grandfather co-signed on this vehicle with him. So another family member that determined he was competent enough to make these payments took liability and responsibility of a truck loan. And Mr. Baker made the same decision. He felt he was worthy too, and now he ended up here. Mr. Baker, your argument is that you didn't ever make an arrangement to absolve him of responsibility. Absolutely not. We wouldn't be here. I mean, I wouldn't have wasted my time. All right, I have no further questions. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Um, I truly believe that Alicia may owe additional money. Just from what I could go, and it's nothing substantial because this was so loosely put together, from going through the account all the way back to 2021, matching it up with days that Lawrence was going over to Micah's ATM withdrawals, whether he's handing this money over to Micah, whether they were going out together and spending it together, it's completely unknown, but I don't believe that either party has these amounts correct. So you feel like there is a balance I do. You didn't say that it was paid off. <clears throat> I do, no. I, I How don't. How much do you think is owed? Um, I believe that Alicia owes maybe an additional $200. Okay. Judge, anything further? No, not for me. Thank you all very much. Well, I do think, legally speaking, it's rather clear cut. The defendant still has the obligation to pay off the loan. The only real question is the, the amount. I'm inclined to give the plaintiff the benefit of the doubt for a variety of reasons. Number one, if you do the math, he's actually shortchanging himself. Oh, by a lot. And I do think that although the defendant's wife is the caretaker of the expenses and, and it seems to be pretty good at it, still much of what she said is based on speculation. And she does admit that even with her own calculations, there is still remaining mm -hmm. obligation yeah. on the part of the mother. Yeah. And the fact that the mother isn't here lends credibility to... Which is co completely that. different than what her fiancé was saying, the defendant. He was saying that it was completely paid off, and that hurts his credibility. Yes. I agree. There was not enough here to absolve him of responsibility yeah. directly to the plaintiff. I think even if you give him credit for the payments that he can't really prove, but that he says he made, right. we're still Short at $850 owed. Right. right. So I agree yeah. with both of you. Good. We have a verdict. $850 in favor of the plaintiff. Unanimous. Yes.